Welcome to our video about the split bridge design. Do you have troubles designing one-piece bridges that would fit well on jobs like this? For this, we have developed an easy solution which allows you to create a split bridge construction containing two different insertion directions. Now let's see how you can actually do this. Depending on your needs, you have three options. First, anatomical frame layer with anatomical coppings, pontics, and connector. Second, frame layer with single coppings, pontics, and connector. Third, anatomical layer with crowns, crown pontics, and connector. For this video, we will use an anatomical frame bridge case. As you can see here, with a case like this, we would have problems designing a one-piece bridge that fits well on top of these two dies because of the big difference between the insertion directions. Therefore, we are going to use the split bridge solution by choosing the indications where the split should be done. Remember that it will always be between a coping and a pontic, rather than between two pontics. Let's move on. At this step, the software will calculate the two different insertion directions for both parts of the split bridge. Please define it for the first part of the bridge, then press Next and start doing the same for the second part. At this point, please specify as usual the margin line, the die interface, and the anatomy design, and then proceed to the frame design step. These steps are the same as if the bridge was not the split construction. On the frame design step, you can see the difference between a one-piece bridge and the split one, which is the absence of one connector. This is actually the area which is going to be designed at the next step. In the finalized step, you can design and perform an actual split within three sub-steps. At the first sub-step, attachment design, you are about to construct and position the male part, which is going to be subtract from the pontic to create the sliding mechanism. Remember that the attachment is locked with the same insertion direction as the female part, so it fits nicely in it after the male part is positioned. For a stable structure, please make sure that the head of that attachment is placed in parallel with the alveolar bone. Using options in the menu to the left, you can change the shape of the attachment by modifying the following parameters. The head radius, the neck, the base, and the tapering angle. At the next Sculpt Frame Design sub-step, you are able to make final adjustments to the complete design. Make sure you create enough space for the ceramic layer, which will be added after production and smooth the connection between the attachment and coping. Now move to the female part and adjust it so it rests nicely on the base of the attachment. This way, you can avoid the bridge rotation. If you are satisfied with the design, click Next to go further. The final split bridge sub-step 
allows you to define the friction between the male and female parts of the bridge. Click Preview to see the changes applied. Remember that the male part always goes first and then you can fit the female part on top. Click Next to go to the Save step. If you are satisfied with your design, click Close to save it and send it for manufacturing. Otherwise, you can always go back and redesign the bridge. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.